In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Yes, my brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the feast day of two martyrs, St. Simon and Jude. So as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us first pause and call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, who came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Come in word and in sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we give you, we give you, you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of St. Simon and Jude that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you are also being built together into a dwelling place of God in the spirit. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Our response, their message goes out through all the earth. <clears throat> the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the words to day and night to night imparts knowledge. <clears throat> Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message.
The Lord be with you. And Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. Simon and Jude were among the 12 men Jesus chose to lead his church. Tradition holds that after Pentecost, Simon preached the gospel in Edessa and Jude in Egypt. The two apostles met in Persia where they suffered martyrdom on the same day. Our Lord has appointed certain men to be guides and teachers of the world and stewards of his divine mysteries. Now he bids them to shine out like lamps and to cast their light over every country. These holy men become the pillar and mainstay of the truth. And Jesus said to, that he was sending them out just as the Father had sent him. That is the introduction for, for this feast day today in the Magnificat. But it's interesting that Simon and Jude were martyred on the same day, two apostles in Persia. To be an apostle means to be sent. It comes from the Greek word apostole, which means to be sent. And we as Christians all are sent by the Lord and the Father sent the Lord to come and live among us, to die on the cross, so that we may have eternal life. So as we continue on this day, let us think about the reality that we also are sent, and that our lives, when we live in faith, hope, and charity, we reflect the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, and we can change lives in other people. Give them hope, give them encouragement, let them know that they are loved and appreciated. And so, as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries these days, let us contemplate what it means truly to be sent among those who do not know our Lord. Let us stand and gather our prayers together. God is a father to his people consoling and guiding them. We entrust ourselves to his compassion as we pray. Please respond, Lord, hear all our prayer. That God may continue to raise up faithful men and women who will respond to his call for consecrated life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and civic leaders that may receive the grace and blessing from, of our almighty God in performing their duties for those whom they serve, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all refugees and asylum seekers may find safe shelter, we welcome into their new communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all gathered here may be blessed in the courage of Saints Simon and Jude to respond to Christ's call of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That all who have died may be welcomed home as beloved members of God's family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Sandra E. Vesely, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own personal intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, loving Father, you have done great things for us we are filled with joy. Keep us united with you in all things through Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we have to offer you. Fruit to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we have to offer you. Fruit to the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Lord, wash away my sins. Cleanse me of my sin. Pray now, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. as we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teachings. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we celebrate, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have saved us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his sp her spouse, with Saint Simon and June, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of power and the glory of now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him, he who comes into the world to save us from our sins. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. Let's, let us pray the prayer, prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having received this sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passions, passion of apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go now and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us sing the first verse.